Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg is at a conference in Paris today with tech leaders discussing their global influence. The appearance comes as Facebook and others face growing questions about users' data and privacy. European lawmakers grilled Zuckerberg yesterday in Brussels. He apologized for his company's mistakes. Mark Phillips is in London. Mark, good morning. Good morning. Well, it's the latest leg of the great Facebook apology tour, but neither the performance of Mark Zuckerberg or of his European Union questioners is getting much in the way of likes this morning. If the intent of Mark Zuckerberg's appearance in Brussels was to hold the Facebook founder's feet to the fire, the fire wasn't very hot. The problem was the format. The EU parliamentarians decided to ask all their questions at once. How can non-users stop Facebook collecting their data? They went on for about an hour. Especially if people want to come off Facebook, how quickly and under what conditions will their data be fully removed? Zuckerberg could just listen and look contrite. Is Cambridge Analytica uh, an isolated case? When the time came for answers, there was very little of it left, and the responses were general and familiar. We didn't take a broad enough view of our responsibility. And that was a mistake, and I'm sorry for it. The European Union is about to implement its general data protection regulations, which in theory protect personal data by default, require clear consent for personal information to be collected, include the right to be forgotten if users want their information deleted, and provide for enforcement fines. Mark Zuckerberg escaped his EU encounter relatively unscathed, but with a question hanging in the air. You have to ask yourself what how you will be remembered as one of the three big internet giants together with Steve Jobs and Bill Gates, or on the other hand, a genius who created a digital monster that is destroying our democracies. As for those unanswered questions, Zuckerberg said he'd get back to them. European data protection rules go into effect this Friday and provide for fines as high as 4% of annual global revenues. In Facebook's case, that could run into the billions. Gail? All right, Mark Phillips reporting from London. Thank you very much. Interesting format, isn't it, guys? Ask all the questions, then he can kind of decide which ones I'm going to answer and then say, I'll get back to you on that. Interesting, but maybe not that effective. That's right.